Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Pennsylvania's crucifier coffins through time a morning in Nazareth. My cousin swung by yesterday with a handful of CDs of projects he was in and whatnot. Crucifier still being his number one baby. And this actually has two demos that I have been searching for, which is why this ended up in my hands because I brought it up to him at a family function. I was like, yo, Kaz, by any chance, do you have a copy of the Crown of Thorns demo from 92? And he was like, I have, uh, you know what? I'll swing by and hook you up. So I was like, all right, fucking A, sick. So he hits me up and was like, yeah, I, I got some shit for you to come to the door. So like, as soon as he came in and handed me like this, I was like, whoa, like fucking Chris Moyen artwork, sick. And then I'm reading like all the fucking stuff on here and I'm just like, dude, thank you. like. Because this has the Humans Are Such Easy Prey demo cassette, which we're listening to now, from 1991. And it's dude, so fucking heavy, as you can hear. But um, then the Crown of Thorns demo cassette, which was what I was really looking for. But getting to hear this, oh my god. Then you have the Unparalleled Majesty cassette from 1993. The Disgrace of God cassette EP from 93. 1996 Powerless Against cassette EP and then the Trafficking with the Devil split 7 inch on here. So you get 20 tracks of blasphemous Black Death from Pennsylvania. Vicious, vicious shit. Not being biased at all, but next up, another project my cousin was in featuring some other dudes from Virginia though. But that is Hearst. And you also get artwork from another legendary artist, Mark Riddick, who did a killer job here. And this is what we're going to be going over today, and this is two demos, the 1997 and 1999 demo, thrown onto a comp called A Journey Upon Phlegothen, and it fucking rules. This is the first ever Funeral Doom slash Death Doom album slash demo I ever heard. I heard the 1997 demo tape, like I had it on one of these like old, you know, fucking Sony, uh, whatever the fuck they were called. There was like little Sony 60 minute tapes. So like getting to see it reissued with artwork by Riddick is fucking sick. And the tracks on here, you get eight of them. Oh man, there's some sick stuff on here. My cousin takes care of drums, vocals, rhythm guitars, bass, and keyboards. And holy shit does he do a good job. Especially vocally and with the use of the keyboards, adding that funeral doom element that I love so fucking much that makes this something that I really do feel was looked over completely and uh, I mean there's plenty of reasons why that probably happened but this is something that really really does deserve your time if you're a fan of Death Doom in any way shape or form like you can't go wrong with something this fucking heavy sinister and just overall like cosmetically sonically when it comes to Death Doom, this is like so on the fucking money. Like, I love it. And I, I'm i not, I'm trying so hard not to be biased because like, you know, it's my cousin's project, but this was released on Morbid Moon Records from somewhere in Europe, he was saying, or Canada. I, I forget, but he was telling me about it. But some more awesome fucking artwork and whatnot. My cousin designed the logo and all that. And um, I'm pretty sure he does logos for some other bands and whatnot through Kazuzu Creations, logo and design, and facebook.com slash kaz.grant, or uh, the true crucifier at live.com. Awesome, awesome fucking death doom. 
from right around the corner pretty much though but it gives you a little um backstory of how the band you know got together and whatnot and calling it quits in 2000 which is kind of a bummer but these demos were produced recorded and mixed in the now legendary crucifier attic in brookhaven pennsylvania i meant booth win pennsylvania which is seriously like four miles down the fucking street from my house and it's fucking sick so like the fact that this cd even exists is awesome and that riddick you know went out of his way and helped put this bad boy out is fucking awesome as well and adding the artwork just goes to show how important this release really was to the underground death doom scene like this is something that's definitely meant to be heard by ears that appreciate heavy fucking evil doom metal that also you know does what it's supposed to do it adds that funeral atmosphere to the crushingness of death doom in general and just adds that extra element that at time makes it straight up funeral doom and it doesn't wear out its welcome with the keyboards or anything they are there when they are meant to be there and this was one of the first bands i ever heard that mixed both genres made it work because I remembered when I first got that fucking demo tape being like, wow, this is heavy, but like it's not fast. And I didn't at the time really get it. But as the years went on, I completely understood what was going on. It's death doom and it's done so fucking well here. And the disembowelment vibes are very, very heavy. I know my cousin loves disembowelment. So as soon as I started hearing certain riffs and certain keyboard parts, I was like, whoa, like he's hitting the disembowelment nail with the hammer. It's fucking sick. But yeah, you get um eight tracks of just doomed out fucking crushing death metal mixed with some funeral doom elements and just doomed out to begin with awesome awesome stuff and definitely recommended to all you fucking death metal fiends out there in general but if you're in the death doom metal this there's no excuse not to check this bad boy out hearse a journey upon phlegothin fucking a thank you kaz for hooking this up because otherwise i would be listening to these tracks on YouTube for the rest of my life probably but hopefully I can get a Bandcamp link for you guys below if not I will just put the YouTube link but soon I'll be going over this crucifier comp I just need some more time with it because I've been listening to these for a very very long time but when it comes to some of the tracks on here I have not heard them yet but um, I have heard the first two demos, the 91 and 92 one. I highly recommend both of them, especially after getting to hear Humans Are Such Easy Prey on like my PA system and shit. It's just absolutely crushing as fuck. So definitely get into some Crucifier, Coffins Through Time, A Morning in Nazareth on Death Rune Records. And you can pick up the hearse comp on Morbid Moon Records. Fucking A. And I'll be going over some more projects, including Masada on um, Deathgasm Records and Blood Harvest, as well as a Crucifier Full Length. So be on the lookout for that. But for right now, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hails Kaz. I appreciate shit like this so much. Family first. Uh, my cousin's a great guy and, you know, hooked it up. Without my cousin, I wouldn't be talking to you guys to begin with. So, thank you, Kaz. But, as always, thank you guys for watching this and, you know, hearing me blabber on. While I have a gnarly toothache still, I'm trying hard not to let the pain show through, but put a gun to my head and paint the wall with my brains. 
Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all fucking rule. Hells. Hells.